I am Hakeem Olashukbo, I'm a lead consultant uh, and founder of uh, Stack Squad UK. Uh, we provide uh, platform level services and help organizations to build their uh, cloud platforms um, to support their applications in the UK. The main challenge here that we have here is uh, we don't have enough training for people. Uh, a lot of our young people, they are hungry to be able to, to do greater things, to be at the same level of efficiency as people that studied abroad or live abroad. Um, so one thing about here is it basically levels the playing ground for everyone. Uh, if I'm a journalist or if I'm a content creator, I have access to the same tool and I can create the same level of quality, if not better, with the mind that we have um, than people that live outside the country. So AI is going to level the playing field and it also get up Nigerians to be able to get to the level of efficiency and professionalism that maybe would not be attainable easily if they are living here. So what, what has this summit done for the people who have come to attend this summit? I think, number one, uh, there is a high opener. Um, because, for number one, you think, wow, I can do this. Uh, this is not out of reach for me. It's not something that, um, it's not just about what I'm seeing on, on TV or, or somewhere on the platform somewhere. It's something that has been brought home to them so they can see the tools, they can ask questions, they can interact, and they can even test it and see that, yeah, it's something I can do myself. And the fact that once you overcome that initial hurdle, knowing that you can do it, that the next stage is for you to now explore. So I think that has, I think, you know, the ability to sort of like overcome that initial hurdle is what I think has, it has removed for them. And then now that people feel like they, they have been introduced to the different tools, because in some cases you go online and try to go on Google to try and learn different things. And then after a while you're thinking, there are so many of them, which one do I choose? So we're having experts coming in to say, okay, this area is what you should focus on, on that area, helps them to also streamline their effort as well. So apart from leveling the field, uh, removing barriers, it also helps them to be able to know the right tools to put their effort into. And I think those are the three areas. And the rest is just for them to put personal uh, time into it and develop that. So speaking of tools and there's some of the tracks also that we had at this summit, which of these tracks do you really see, do you think that many more people are very interested in, like Nigerians are interested in? I've heard some people say it's a filmmaking track, but you know, for, for you, which, which of them do you think it is? Well, I think it's still the same thing. I think there's a filmmaking track uh, where you can produce content and all of that. But then what also we are seeing is the fact that um, a lot of people also are trying to use that to take their business to the next level. How do I create or mock up a quick website that would represent my business better so that I can prevent a prof uh, pro basically present a professional front? If I'm a one-man business, how do I automate my workflow how to make sure that things can run instead of getting a secretary how do I make sure everything can, I can send email at a particular time based on certain inputs and all of that. So being able to manage your workflow, spin up your business, and if you're a content creator, how do I create that fast? So I think there are different areas that it's opening people's eyes to think, okay, yeah, this can actually be useful. But that's not limited. There are still many other ways that AIs can help. But I feel with the tools that has been discussed, many people will find other usage or usage is down the road, um, based on what we've seen so far. Is, does it have the ability to take human jobs? I think in some sense, yes, it will take some jobs. Um, but does that mean we will be jobless? I don't think so. Um, because there was a time where everything, everyone was working with typewriters and, and that's all they knew. And then computers came, everyone suddenly became um, typist, basically. You can all type, you can all do things. You don't need uh, someone to use a typewriter to help you format your messages and all that. So what we just need to do is like we're doing now, we are learning about the tools that will make us be proficient in using AI to help us in our daily needs, in our businesses. So AI will do some things, will take over some jobs, but also we as humans, we would adapt and we'll be able to do much better and be efficient by using AI, basically. So it, it's, it's not a one way, basically.